I, I think this team has kind of turned a corner in a way. There's that ruthless edge. I think we played really well today. There was yeah. a few errors, of course, that we can brush up on and set piece and stuff. But I think Italy are a kind of team you have to wear down. And I think we did that. And then the, the bench, when it was unleashed, did an incredible job. And yeah. just you could see these guys are getting their chance. They want more game time. And I think we're in a really lucky place with Irish rugby in the moment, at the moment. That do you think they'll win the championship? Yeah, it'll be really tough. France are an odd bunch in terms of they can play out, out of their skins, you know, in, in any game. And uh, it's a really tough place to have to go. But there, there's a bit of mental teak there at the moment that probably was missing maybe a few years ago. Really, I think, yeah. 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 I think, yeah, I, I think we have a great chance. We'll have to play well. It'll be nice if, uh, if Trico could have round in three tri tries like how we started. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, any re result will do. We're playing a cup final, just 3 0, get across the line on Paddy's weekend, it'd be brilliant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, come here, it was a great day for him as well, wasn't it? Like, I mean, it, it, it all went kind of perfectly and, uh, you know, today. Yeah, well. It, for, it, for his last home game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's great that you get to appreciate one of our kind of sporting stars and yeah. to be fair Drickle's a warrior you know he, he you just you know from playing with him and against him yeah. teams target him but the fella keeps getting up I suppose example of it was the Welsh game yeah. guy flies out of the line to half and Drickle gets up he goes off with a dislocated collarbone you know it's just yeah and and to be fair was, like you were the you you were the golden kind of generation as well, but like there's, was there something extra he had that kind of made him the greatest? Like? Yeah, I, I think so. I th absolutely. I think we all had to get up to his standards, to be fair. Not, not that we could compete in talent and stuff like that, but certainly in the standards he set around training and stuff like that. And uh, I think that's kind of the legacy he's left now. I think uh, Irish rugby is in a great place for actually having him in it, you know, and... Uh, and you look at him around the squad and how he's thought of, you know, just younger guys with two caps or guys with maybe 50. He's the same Drico to all of them. And it's a lovely way to be yeah, around the squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah.